okay in this section we're going to be working on the services for our full website build now how we're going to achieve this layout is using the grid and flexbox so let's head over to our index.html and get started so to begin here let's create a new comment and we're going to call this services then we want to create our section tag here and call or give it a class of services now inside of here we're going to start with a div of the class of container and then we want to give it a heading using our h2 here and call this services now next up we want to create our grid so how we're going to do this is we're going to create a new div and give this a class of grid and then we'll go ahead and associate this class of grid in our style sheet to actually create that grid which we haven't done yet so next up inside of this grid we're going to want to have flex rows so the markup will be very similar to what we did in our about section where we had our icons and then on the right hand side we had our content so let's go ahead and create that markup so to begin here we need to create a new div with a class of flex row next we need to create our icon or import our icon from font awesome so what i'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to create an i uh, i tag and we're going to give us a class of fas and then we're going to say fa mobile alt okay and then we're also going to give it a secondary class of pink text okay now the reason we're doing this is because or I should back it up here so this is not a class that font awesome has this is actually a class that I went ahead and created so we need to colorize our icons here for this section and the easiest way that I found to do this was to create a secondary class and associate a font color to that to go ahead and change the color of the icon okay so that's how we're going to do it for each one of our icons for this section and our cards okay next up we want to create our content so we need to create a div with a class of right and inside of there we're going to create an h3 and this is going to be called digital marketing or no it's not so i'm marking ma our marketing there we go and then after our heading we want to create our summary and i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that in from my demo here let's go ahead and grab this and there we go so i will mention this now all the content for these cards will be down below in the description so you don't have to pause and type all of this stuff out so um, you know instead of having to type all of it out you can go down below to the description and copy and paste that in so this right here is going to be the simple markup for each one of our cards so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is simply go ahead and copy and paste the rest of these in to save some time here so let me go ahead and grab these here and we're going to copy and paste these in so as you can see each one of our flex row has an icon and they all have different color text classes which we will create when we go ahead and do our styling and yeah it's a pretty simple markup and right now if we go ahead and take a look at it on our demo or our live site you can see it looks like this so let's head over to our style sheet and begin to style this up so to get started here, what I'm going to do is we're going to create our comment for the services section here, and then let's go ahead and open up our services class. All right. So to begin, let's go ahead and change the background color from our default white to a color code of ECF 5FF, which is going to be a light gray. Next, I want to target our container. So by default, the max width is set to 1140 pixels. I want to change that in this section to be 900 pixels. And then let's go ahead and target our heading or our H2, and we're going to set that to text align of center. Okay, now we need to go ahead and actually configure our grid to have our utility class, which I have already done down here. So what we're going to say is dot grid, which is our class name. We're going to go ahead and set the display to grid, and that's all we're going to do <clears throat> for our utility class. We'll go ahead and make all the other adjustments that we're going to do for this section directly in our services so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to say grid here and now as we done with everything in the whole entire series we're going to be using a mobile first approach so to begin the grid will be configured for mobile and then we'll go ahead and configure it for uh, desktop laptop etc okay so we're going to have this have a max width of 600 pixels and we're going to set the margin to zero auto and then we want to set a property called grid template columns and put that to 1FR. So what this means by 1FR is that it's going to take up 100% of the space available. Okay, that's a pretty much the simplest way I can explain what that means. Now we want to set the gap, which is going to be the vertical gap going up and down to 32 pixels. 
and then set the row gap to 50, which is going to be the horizontal gap or the horizontal space between each one of our uh, template columns here. Okay, now we want to go ahead and set up our media query here. So we're going to say at media and we're going to say min width and set that to 800 pixels. And once it gets to the size, you want to change the grid template columns to have a property of repeat. And we want to say 2, 1, FR. So when we say this, we're saying two fractional units of 1, FR. So that's going to be 50% of the space. So each one or each flex row here will take up 50% of the space, meaning we'll have two columns on our grid. Okay. So if I change this, okay, let's go ahead and save it and actually show you what I mean. And then we need to actually add a max width here of 100% as well. So let me show you what this looks like. So if we come over to our style sheet here, and why isn't this working? Uh, oh, you know what? I did it again. I spelled grid wrong. So it's G-R-I-D. Now, if we save that, we should see our styles in effect. Okay, perfect. So right now we're on desktop. So we have two 1FR, which means we have two uh, columns. So if I change this in our our uh, markup here or style to three now we will have three which is what we we don't want this so we're gonna set it back to two but just to show you how this actually works in terms of this repeat property here so let's put it back to two okay and that is all the styling we need to do for our grid so let's go ahead and actually get to working on our cards here so going back to our style sheet here below grid we want to target the flex row and we're gonna start with a cursor of pointer we want to set a box shadow on here of 0, 10 pixels, 29 pixels, 0, and we're going to set an RGBA of 68, 88, 144, and then have a 10% opacity on that. Now we want to set a border radius to 12 pixels. We're going to set the position to relative because we're going to go ahead and position these icons absolute. So we want to make this flex row be position relative. Now, we also want to put an overflow property of hidden and we'll come back to this and I'll show you why we did that in just a few moments. We want to set a padding here to 30 pixels around every uh, every side, a background color of white, so FFF, and then a transition property here of 500 milliseconds ease and all. Okay, now if we look at this, you can see that things are starting to take shape. So let's go ahead and get out of this. So one thing we did on the demo, which we're going to go ahead and do right now, is when we hover over this, you can see that the cards actually go up. So how we can do that is we can head back to our style sheet here. And inside our flex row, we're going to say on hover, we want to transform and then translate the Y and set it to negative four pixels. So now if we hover over this, you should see that the cards go up just like they do in the demo, which is really easy to do and it adds a really cool effect to your website. So that is how we do that. All right, so moving along here, let's target our H3, oops, not height three. And we wanna make this font size be 18 pixels. And then for our paragraph tag, we're going to go ahead and give this a font size of 14 pixels. And I believe, did we already set the line height? No, we didn't. So we want to set the line height here to 1.7. Okay. So if we save this, you can see that things are starting to look a little better. But now we still need to get to these icons. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and set the I, uh, I tag here. And we're going to go ahead and give this a font size of 64 pixels. We want to then position this absolute. So when we say absolute, we're taking it out of the order that it's originally in and setting it absolute to wherever we want. So right now, it's going to be positioned absolutely to this flex row. So if I save this and we go take a look, it's just gonna be right here overlapping everything, which is what we don't want. So let's go ahead and change that. So we wanna change the left to negative 10. And then we want to display this as flex so that way we can center it. And we're going to use the align self property and set that to center. So now if we take a look at this, you can see it's now centered in the middle and it's hanging off of the uh, card here by negative 10 pixels. So if you recall, we put a property of overflow hidden on our flex row. So if I got rid of this, 
Let's go ahead and do this. So if we got rid of this property here, commented out, and then saved it, you can see that now the icons are showing beyond the flex row or our cart here. So we don't want that. So let's go ahead and put that back on here. But I just wanted to show you what that property did and why we are using it. And then lastly, or we still need to do a few things here, and then we'll be all set with this section. We want to go ahead and target our right class here and then put a margin left of 40 pixels to go ahead and separate it from our icon and there we go it's looking a lot better now the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the color classes enabled so that way we have the correct colors on each one of our uh, cards here so to do that and save some time here I'm gonna go ahead and actually copy and paste these in from the demo and head back to our style sheet here and right below our button light I'm gonna go ahead and paste these in so as I did with the content here, I'll go ahead and copy these color codes right into the description. So we have pink text, which is going to be using FF69AB, yellow text, teal text, green text, lime green text, and blue text. So I will go ahead and leave those color codes down below in the description as well. So that way you don't have to uh, type those in manually either. So let's go ahead and take a look at our services section here. And we should see now excuse me, that each one of our cards has the uh, right color that we assigned it in the HTML markup. So the last thing we need to go ahead and do is as you can see here, the padding is not on our section. So if you recall in the About Us video, we went ahead and made a easy way to go ahead and change this by going to our multiple section styles right here. So all we need to do is add a comma and type in services here and if we save that now the services should have the same exact padding as our about us and it does and everything looks great so that is going to do it for this section we have completed the services and next up we are going to work on the why choose us section